Hello guys, today I would like to show you we got any AMD older graphic cards and got the overheat problem and clean and change the thermal paste. Doesn't help? I can help you with this little tweak. I'll show you an example on HD7850. I've got a gigabyte overclock edition, which is standard clock is standard clock is Its standard clock is 975 MHz and uh, power for this car on this MHz is 1210 which is so high for this card and the way you can tweet this BIOS is actually software which is called VBE7 it's really easy software you can just open the BIOS you wanna tweet like this one and you can just change any core clock from the step 1, step 2 and step 3 for this card because over it over 100 Celsius I tweak down the core 3 to 900 and put the power down from 1210 to 1025 sorry 1025 and also DVD power where I tweak down to just 100 which also mean you can use that card later on with power supply it's got a less wattage and less ampere on his 12 watt rail, rail which mean you can use the power supply which got a less wattage and less power ampere consume on his 12 wattage rail mean if you tweak down this TPD wattage you can use the power supply which is less wattage and got a less amp on his 12 volt rail hopefully it will be help you and you can use the car even on the weakest power supply but main point is take the power down as I already do this on this stock you can see I changed the 900 here from clock free I change from 900 from 975 to 900 and VDC I put down to 1025 you can change this from 800 to 1225 which this card original, originally got I think 1210 and you, just, you can see it's nearly on max nearly killed this card but yeah guys the card is working and because I put the 900 you can see the official version is got a 800 MHz on the core which means this card is still slightly overclocked still running very well and give it another shot another couple of months life for someone yeah why not it is easy easy to use once you once you done your edit your BIOS you just need to click save after that download the active in flash whatever version you want you just remember always you need to open as administrator and once you open this at flash <coughs> Once you open this at the flash, you just load the image with the BIOS you just tweak. Like this and just click on program and wait till it's finished, reboot PC and all is done. That is permanent 
overclock or downclock you can actually overclock on this way as well which is more safe and more easy as doing some different program like MSI Afterburn or uh, Eti software straight away yeah I like this way I always do on this way because more easy and more safe I think only you must be sure using the right and correct BIOS and best way to tweak the BIOS is if you download like GPU Z you download GPU Z you got the button here just give you save your BIOS and it's best way just tweak the BIOS which is original in the car start slowly change this slowly down or slowly up depends which way you wanna go to be sure you are not overclock if you make a mistake you can still roll back the old one but if you are doing slowly first issue will be see is actually like artifact and stuff like this and you know you are doing so much if you are going down so much like not putting enough power to your chip PC will be freeze but remember there is still a way to flash the BIOS back even if you need to use DOS where car doesn't use any more power and doesn't need the power as Windows desktop even which there is still a way okay I hope you like this video I hope you like this video subscribe for more and any questions just write comment below stay tuned and click subscribe guys and smash that bell button thanks